We discussed about the minimum Hamming distance required for error detection in the previous video. There we saw that if the minimum Hamming distance is 2, then we will be able to detect 1 bit error. But will we be able to correct it? We can see that the 1 bit error on the valid code word, it generates an invalid code word which overlaps with the invalid code word generated by the 1 bit error on another valid code word. For example, suppose we have a valid code word, a 1 bit error on this at bit position 3 has created an invalid code word. Now consider another valid code word whose Hamming distance from this valid code word is 2. Then a 1 bit error at bit position 4 on this valid code word may also generate the same invalid code word. And here the Hamming distance between these two valid code words is 2. Then a 1 bit error on both of these may also generate the same invalid code word. For this one the bit error was at position 3 and for this one the bit error was at position 4. So we will not be able to realize what was the actual valid code word before the error whether this one or this one. Hence a minimum Hamming distance of 2 is not enough to de detect a 1 bit error. Sorry to correct a 1 bit error. So the condition is if a 1 bit error occurs on a valid code word it should generate an invalid code word which doesn't overlap with an invalid code word which may be generated by the 1 bit error on another valid code word. For this at least a distance of 3 is required. Thus to correct a 1 bit error the minimum Hamming distance required is 3. For example, let 000 and 111 be two valid code words whose Hamming distance between them is 3. The words produced by the 1 bit error on the valid code word 000 do not overlap with the words produced by the 1 bit error on 111. There is at least a distance of 1 between these invalid code words. So if we detect any 1 bit error then we can correct it by identifying what was the actual code word before the error. For example let 100 be the invalid code word formed then it is 1 bit away from 000 and 2 bit away from 111. It's 1 bit closer to this one then of course it will be formed by the 1 bit error on 000. Thus if minimum Hamming distance is 3, we can correct 1 bit error. Then what about 2 bit errors? We can see the invalid code word generated by the 2 bit error overlaps with the invalid code word generated by the 1 bit error on another valid code word. Hence we will not be able to correct from 2 bit onwards. So if minimum Hamming distance is 1, then we cannot detect even a 1 bit error. Then if we cannot detect, there is no chance to correct. And if minimum Hamming distance is 2, then we will be able to correct, we will be able to detect 1 bit error, but we cannot correct any bit error. And if the minimum Hamming distance is 3, then we can detect up to 2 bit errors. If we can detect 2 bit error, then we can detect 1 bit error too. Then we can correct 1 bit error if the minimum Hamming distance is 3. From 2 bit onwards we cannot correct if the minimum Hamming distance is 3. Then what is the minimum Hamming distance required to correct the 2 bit error? For that the invalid code word generated by the 2 bit error on a valid code word should not overlap with the invalid code word generated by the 2 bit error on another valid code word. For that we can see the minimum distance required is at least 5. If the distance is at least 5 then the invalid code word generated by the 2 bit error on the valid code word it doesn't overlap with an invalid code word created by the 2 bit error on another valid code word. So for 2 bit error correction the minimum Hamming distance required is 5. 
and if we can correct two bit then we can correct one bit too because the invalid code generated by the one bit errors also do not overlap thus if minimum hamming distance is 5 then we can detect up to 4 bit errors we can detect 4 bit 3 bit 2 bit as well as 1 bit error and we can correct up to 2 bit errors similarly for 3 bit error correction what is the minimum hamming distance required for that the invalid code word created by even a 3 bit error on the valid code word should not overlap with the invalid code word made by the 3 bit error on another valid code word. For that, the minimum distance required is at least 7. If the Hamming distance is at least 7, then even a 3 bit invalid code words do not overlap. Then the 2 bit and also 1 bit invalid code words also do not overlap. So we can correct 3 bit, 2 bit as well as 1 bit errors. Thus if minimum Hamming distance is 7, then we can correct 3 bit errors and we can detect up to 6 bit errors. Hence for 1 bit error correction, the minimum Hamming distance required is 3. For 2-bit error correction, minimum Hamming distance required is 5 and for 3-bit error correction, the minimum Hamming distance required is 7. So to generalize, we can say, in order to correct n-bit errors, the minimum Hamming distance required is 2n plus 1. And to detect n-bit errors, the minimum Hamming distance required is n plus 1.